Well, happy holidays, Dr. Ken Ken Red Cross. Thank you for returning to the Belder BB Show. Absolutely. One of my favorites, so I am excited. Good to hear your voice. Well, you are my favorite because oh. you seem to have your hand on the pulse medically of what's going on. And today you're here to talk about a really important subject, Dr. Uh, Red Cross. So I want to know, uh, what's the growing concern about antibiotics? You know, Valda, what we're learning is that when antibiotics are used inappropriately, it increases antimicrobial resistance. What does that mean? Well, the CDC, or according to the CDC, they say that 2.8 million infections in the United States last year were resistant to antibiotics. And unfortunately, 35,000 people lost their lives because they contracted these infections that were not responsive to antibiotics. But there is a silver lining, Valda, in that The big focus should really be on urgent care centers. In urgent care centers, 7 in 10 people in an urgent care center study actually said or asked for antibiotics, which is what we do not want. Okay, so are we over-prescribing? Are you saying that? Please explain that because when people get sick, they say, oh, I'm going to the doctor so I can get some antibiotics. That's what we know. Absolutely. Well, hopefully that changes today. In fact, I joined a campaign with an urgent cares in the United States and primary care offices, along with Mucinex, on a campaign that we call Flip the Script. I want us to flip that, everyone, because we're talking about cold and flu season, which are viruses, and antibiotics are not effective. So we need to look at things that are over the counter, such as Mucinex, which actually helps with the symptoms. We need to remember that antibiotics, everyone, attaches to the wall of the bacteria, the cell wall. Viruses don't have a cell wall. Therefore, Valder, there's nothing for antibiotics to attach to. That's the reason why we need to flip the script and understand cold and flu season isn't really a time where we need to be reaching for antibiotics. We need to look at things that are over the counter that can really improve our symptoms. So let me be clear, cold and flu, Are they least affected by antibiotics? Explain that to us, please. Absolutely. Once again, everyone, antibiotics are for bacteria. Why? Because bacteria have a cell wall. Viruses do not have a cell wall. Therefore, antibiotics are ineffective. They are not going to help. So we need to look at things over the counter. That's why I mentioned mucinex, because the main thing that bogs us down is the cough and the congestion. Mucinex helps with that. It helps to thin the secretions, helps to thin the phlegm. That's what we really want to do to feel better. The antibiotic is not doing that during those cases. But as with anything, Valder, it's always important to speak to your doctor. All of us are different. We have different sort of things that are going on with our bodies, but we need to make sure we have that connection to make sure that we're staying healthy and whole. Are there any potential consequences to overusing antibiotics then? Absolutely. Look, because of the overuse and misuse, the misuse being getting antibiotics during cough and cold season, some of those statistics that I mentioned before, think about this. You know, so much has changed in practice, Valder. When I first started talking about antibiotics many years ago in practice, we were only worried about interactions with other medications or side effects. Now, we're actually thinking, are we impacting this antibiotic or antimicrobial resistance that's causing such a problem in the United States now? So it's important that we continue to talk about flipping the script and looking at things over the counter instead of running to think that an antibiotic is going to help because it will not, especially because we're dealing mainly with viral illnesses this time of year. Okay, so if Mucinex can deal with our cold and flu, I think you said this earlier, but I want to be clear. So do we need to consult our primary physician? Because you know people will play doctor in a minute now. Oh, please don't. You can't tell about it. I'm jumping up and down to say, (laughs) yes, you consult with your doctor at all times. It's important. Even let them know what your symptoms are. The good thing is Mucinex over the counter. It's something that you can use to make sure that you start to at least change through some of those symptoms that, like I said, bog us down. But your doctor needs to know about that as well. Dr. Red Cross, I don't know how you find time to continually give us the straight facts, but I love it. Okay, so they simply contact their primary care physician and they can go from there. How Absolutely. Is Mucinex... Um, uh, how do we know? Is it for adults and children, or what? It, what is it for? 
So the important thing is when you go and you look at the mucinex, there's different formulations. You can look at the back. It's going to tell you which age groups it's intended for. But once again, look at sites such as mucinexfight.com. I mentioned that, Val, because there's a lot of wonderful information there about why mucinex should be kind of what we're reaching for, the over-the-counter remedies and not antibiotics. Remember, everyone, viruses do not have a cell wall. Therefore, there's nothing for the antibiotic to attach to, so they will not help. Today, my guest has been Dr. Ken Red Cross. He's an author, he's a physician, and he's very well informed. Dr. Red Cross, I love it when you come on the Val DeBibi show. You make me look smarter and wiser. I thank you so very much for being here. Well, thank you for having me on, Val. Take care, everyone, and happy holidays. Happy holidays. Hi, I'm Val DeBibi, host of the Val DeBibi show. We have over 1,000 videos on ValderBBShow.com and YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. We upload new videos daily. Our site is a modern baby boomer platform with news and information important to boomers. Subscribe to YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow and stay connected as I interview the world's most fascinating people.